and welcome to another video in the dentist hub. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, don't hesitate to do it now because there are more interesting and informative videos coming up. Today we are going to discuss about the calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor or the CEOT. It is also referred to as the Pinborg's tumor. Described in 1956 by Dr. Jens J. Pinborg, CEOT is an uncommon benign odontogenic neoplasm in which the cells are believed to originate from stratum into medium. It occurs in middle-aged individuals of 40 years and there is no sex predilection. It is associated with unerupted tooth and there is asymptomatic painless swelling. It is more commonly seen in mandibular molars and is similar to amyloblastoma. In the radiographic picture, there is diffuse, well-circumscribed unilocular radiolucent area. Combine radiolucent and radio-opaque areas with small, irregular bony trabeculae resemble multilocular or honeycomb pattern. Flecks of calcification show driven snow appearance. CT scan shows thinning and expansion of buccal and lingual cortical plates. In the histological slide, there are polyhedral epithelial cells packed in large sheets, scattered small islands of cells occasionally arranged in cords and rows, granular eosinophilic cytoplasm with desmosomes like epithelial cells. Joint pleomorphic nuclei or multinucleation is observed and mitotic figures are rare. Other important characteristic features in CEOT are the presence of a homogeneous eosinophilic substance like amyloid or glycoprotein that stains positive with Congo red and there is presence of calcifications in the form of Lee's gang rings. Penbock tumor has a good prognosis. The intrabony lesions are treated by enucleation or curettage and the recurrent or persistent tumors are treated by segmental sectioning like the hemimaxillectomy or the hemimantibulectomy. The recurrence and malignant transformation rate in CEOT is rare. So that's about the CEOT or the pain box tumor. Do like, share and subscribe to the dentist hub for more informative videos.